Birds can't ask for help, except maybe parrots, but they're probably too proud. But humans are helping birds anyway at the Wildlife Rehab Center in Hawaii. Marina can tell us more. Hawaii is home to some of the most diverse and exotic birds on the planet. It's also the extinction capital of the world. Since humans started settling the island 1,600 years ago, two-thirds of Hawaii's native birds, or 95 species, have disappeared. This is due to destruction of their habitat, the introduction of foreign predators, and disease. But it's not all bad news. Conservationists are hard at work rehabilitating native birds and getting them back into the wild. And one woman who is taken to this role like a duck to water is Heidi Franz. So as a child, I actually was always very interested in animals and I lived in Southern California, so I got to see a lot of different native animals there like coyotes and hawks and squirrels and snakes. And so I always was very fond of animals and I knew that one day I wanted to make a career out of working with wildlife. Today, I'm visiting Heidi at the Hawaii Wildlife Center, where she's gonna take me under her wing. So you're a wildlife rehabilitator. What does that mean? I kind of consider myself like a bird nurse. For me, a day kind of starts off with uh, getting medications ready and food prepped. Throughout the day, I'll do physical therapy. And then every once in a while, we'll actually have birds come in from outer islands and we'll have to uh, do intake exams on them. Oh, you're like their little personal chef. <laughs> yeah. And physical therapist. Coordinator, travel coordinator. And coordinator, yeah, yeah, personal assistant. Yeah, exactly. Do I get to meet some of your patients? Yeah, let's go take a look at them. Heidi lets me be her wingman as she carries out her duties at the center, where the main focus is rehabilitating native birds who are injured, ill, or orphaned. Everything she does is geared toward increasing the chance of survival when these birds return to the wild. To get them ready for leaving the nest, the birds are closely monitored with daily checkups, physical therapy, and feeding. Who is this? So this is one of our wedge-tailed shearwater chicks, and this one was actually found um, in the water off of Molokini, which is one of the small islands off of Maui. Um, and he was really tiny when he was found, so we think he was probably just like uh, a day or two old when oh, he was wow. found. He's cute. It's okay, little guy. We got gotcha. you. It's lunchtime for our friend, and on the menu today is fish slurry, a fish protein shake that goes straight to his stomach through a tube. Do birds chew? Birds do not chew, they don't have teeth, but some birds will like pick apart their food and then swallow it. Then to finish it off, a plate of smelt, which is a type of small fish that he'll swallow whole. He's loving this. <laughs> While the birds might give the service here a five-star review, success is not measured by how nice their stay is, but instead by how prepared the birds are to leave. And lucky for us, we're here just in time to watch one of Heidi's guests fly the coop. It may be bittersweet to watch them go, but that's what Heidi and her fellow conservationists work toward every day to help Hawaii's native birds return to the skies. One of the highlights of rehabilitating these birds is getting them ultimately back out into the wild. Release day is something that we all really look forward to and it's very special to watch those birds take off and fly and basically you're watching all that hard work fly off but it's, it's fantastic and that's what we want. They say if you love something, set it free. I can't think of a better example than Heidi and her rehabilitators helping these birds to harness their power to soar. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.